Hi guys, Steve here, on this video I want to show you how to get all the artifacts on Extinction. Plus get to the terminals and we're going to start with the artifact of chaos in the desert area. This is where we are in the desert zone, next to the red obby. Coordinates 86 by 70. And the cave entrance is in this big metal wall. I'm going to take a shotgun, but you shouldn't really need one, just in case the bats follow you. I want a fairly good gas bag with a good saddle fill it up with air now these things are the most tankiest creatures in arc once they're filled up with air we have 80% damage reduction then a good saddle increases that even more and all you have to do is fly past everything now it used to be able to take owls in here but they nerfed that so you can't fly in here with owls and you used to be able to take Manamagurus in, but they nerfed it so you can't use their jump ability. Now there's an entrance ahead of us, and if you're on a gas bag, the simplest way to do is go through there. So I'm just going to go through there now. This is the shortest route if you're on one of these. And you come out there next to the hexagon tiles. And around this corner is where you would come if you're on land dinos. So I'm going to start back at this position. That's the entrance again. I'm going to take you through the land way. There we go. We originally came here on Valenosaurs, a whole team of us, and there's a lot of fighting. But on the gas bags, you can avoid everything. So you'd follow that ramp up. Come into this area, and there's those hexagon tiles again. And that's where you would come out from a shortcut. So it's best to go through the blue doorway. Suck air in again. you tanky as hell. Now if you're going on the ground again you would go across the water. Then up this ramp. But if you're on a gas bag you just go to the right and bypass all that. And up this ramp. There's a terminal in front of us, and there's the artifact below us. Right. There's artifact of chaos. Really simple to get. Okay. Usually just grab it and then get out of there. I waited long enough to show you. That's the terminal platform. And this is a terminal where you summon a desert titan. And that's all the ingredients you need. As you can see on a gas bag it's really easy to get to by yourself. So a single person only has to come in here to activate the titan while the rest of the team can hang around in the combat zone above. And you're teleported up there to meet them. Next I'll show you how to get the artifact of the void and get to the ice terminal. We're next to the snow biome, just to the left hand side of it. There is on the map and the coordinates is 21 by 61. And the cave entrance is just in front of us. Just suck the air in. And gently float down to the tunnel. Oh. 
I quite like to use gas bags. Getting used to flying them. It's a bit dark in this ice cave. Pull it around to the left. Gets lighter later on. Try and land on safe raised areas if you can, just to get your air back. There's a lot of beasties. They're like level 300. As you can see, not doing virtually any damage. Now if you come in here on land dinos, I'd go up to the right, so I might as well follow that way. On the gas bag you can just go head straight forward. Cross. Again, if you're on line dino, you should go across this bridge. We're just leisurely drifting around. Even coming here with land dinos and f a group of people fighting on the ground, you're going to get damaged. But with this, going on a gas bag, you just sail through. The only creature you got to be cautious of are those pavlovas. <laughs> those little cake dinosaurs that live under the ground and jump out at you because they could take you off a gas bag. But because you're in the air so much, you barely ever see them. And there's the artifact of the void. They're going to have to swim across. Bears aren't the greatest swimmers. Got a little time before we get here, but I'm just going to grab it. That's how you get the artifact of a void. Solo, easily, legit. I'm going to take you to the terminal. Again, if you're on land, you'd go across to the left here. We could just jump across on the gas bag. Show you both ways in case you don't have a gas bag yet. That's a terminal ramp ahead. Bears just came through the wall. Here we go. And there's a terminal. Again, really easy to come to by yourself. You can get the artifact solo. Or if you want to come here and activate the Ice Titan, you can again come here by yourself, carry everything, and have a group of people above you waiting to fight. That's all the ingredients you need. And once you activate the Titan, you get teleported above to join them. Now I'm going to get the artifact of the growth, plus show you how to get to the Forest Titan terminal. We're going into the Sunken City area, because this is where you find the cave entrance. This is the area surrounding the cave. You've got a lake, you've got a ramp up there. The cave entrance is at coordinates 11.6 by 38.6. This one's the most dangerous one. Inflate yourself and just fly in. Now this cave's lower than all the rest. 
but you're still able to fit a gas bag in. You just got to be more careful. Like a bit when it loads in. As you're sucking air in, the resistance to damage goes up. It's a bit dark in here. That's why I've got a bulb light with me. Right, make your way to the right. It takes a while for the dinos down here to attack you. And that gives you enough time to suck air in, and then you can escape. There's less creatures around here. Go right again. You're escaping. Might be a chunky fella, but it can fit through the tunnel. You've got a red loot drop there. right again there's the artifact below us right you can pick that up get that easily oops crafty pavlovas Can't damage me. Blow it out again and knock them backwards. Sh looks like I'm safe on this ledge. It's the first time I've come down here on one of these. It's going to bother me, so just pull it off the shelf and float back to it. Instead of attacking everything, just try and pull it off the level you're on down to a low one so we can't get to you. And again. I think that's all of them. And there's the artifact of the growth. Easy peasy solo. Now I've got a terminal platform in front of us. You got dinos on there, but again, just aggro them a bit, then pull them down to a lower level. Aggro those, pull them off. Yep, the following. Now the only thing you have to worry about is that purple effect, because if that circle goes up to full, you're going to lose control of your dino. And that comes from a ute. Maybe that's most of the platform cleared, just a few left. Just go up to them and bite them to get aggro. There we go. The ute effect's gone up to maximum and you can't control the, the gas bag. But luckily it's still floating up. 
Now, I experienced a bug here that I want to tell you about because it took me a while to fix it. My gas bag was on neutral, but when the Ute scare effect finished, it somehow bugged my gas bag so whenever I got off it, it would try and run off without me like it was on aggressive. So before you enter the cave, put yours on passive and try to stay in the air or on the shelves away from the Ute so they don't fear you. When I got off it to try and shoot the dinos on the platform, it tried to kill itself by carrying on walking to all the dinos below it. I'm trying to shoot that dillo, but every time I get off it, <laughs> the stupid thing tries to kill itself. Look, get off it, carries on walking. Now it's a centipede that's joined us. You might have to jump back and forth between the platform and the shelf a few times just to drag everything off the platform. It's not as easy as the other artifacts, but after a while, it should be clear. Yep, I think that's all of them. I don't think he's joining us. There's a terminal for the forest titan. And that's everything you need to summon it. And once you activate the Titan, you get teleported above to join them. And that's the best way to get all the artifacts, and easily get to the terminals so you can summon the Titans. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end, comment on what you would like to see, and there's a link to Patreon if you feel like supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.